Hi, I'm Jeff Summit, Technical Director for Hariko Golf. I'm here to show you about the importance of grip sizing and why. First, the grip is the only contact you make with a golf club, so comfort should be king. Now, many players are taught to hold the club in the, uh, in the fingers, like so. When you fold over the fingers, over the grip, they should barely touch the heel of your uh, palm. If I open it up and imagine that we have longer fingers and when we fold it over um, it would be a lot easier to hit the, uh, the palm. So to compensate for this we would suggest a larger size grip. Now conversely if we had um, shorter fingers then we would want a smaller grip so that it would be easier to touch the heel of the palm. Now there's other golfers that would prefer to hold the grip in their palm rather than the fingers. And as you can see here, you have more of the finger exposed. And to take up this difference, we would suggest to have a larger size grip. Now if a grip is too small, you may feel that you have to squeeze too hard to hold on to it, uh, resulting into excessive tension in your forearms. And too large of a grip, and you may have to adjust the pressure um, or regrip during the course of the swing. Personally, I don't buy into the myth that a smaller grip will cause you to hook the ball and a larger grip to slice. A grip not of the right size and you're likely to have inconsistency problems in general. Simply put, the more often a player is able to keep his or her hands in the same place on the grip during the swing, the more consistent results the player's shots will be. This is accomplished with the proper grip sizing, as there's no subconscious adjustments required uh, by the player. If you don't know what size you need, be sure to consult a professional club maker in your local area.